getting started with WorkStreams.ai on Microsoft Teams. The WorkStreams.ai app works right where you communicate on Microsoft, letting you and your teams set priorities, collaborate, and get things done more efficiently than ever before. Here's how to get started. First, if you haven't done so already, go to Apps inside of Microsoft Teams, type in WorkStreams.ai, click on our logo, and then just click the Add to a Team button. If you're already logged into your account, you can also just add WorkStreams.ai from our website by hitting that Add to Teams button. If you are logged out, just log in with Microsoft to keep going. After that, select a team and the channel that you would like WorkStreams.ai to connect with. Then just hit Setup. Last of all, hit Authorize to finish everything up. After hitting Authorize, you may need Office 365 admin credentials in order to approve this. This is just to make sure your workspace stays fully secure. Then. Just hit save. You'll know things are working when you see a welcome message in your posts, complete with some helpful tips from us. Now that you've installed WorkStreams.ai, it's time to start creating your first tasks. To begin, first type in at WorkStreams. When the What Can I Do menu pops up, click it. Then click the word Plan and type in the name of your first task. Hit Enter and that task is instantly created for the whole channel to see. If you prefer, you can also create a task by typing at WorkStreams, clicking on the bot, then just typing plan, followed by the name of your task, and hitting enter just like before. Once your task is created, give it some context. Hit edit to give the task a description and to assign the task to someone on your team. We can also set the task status to In Progress to show it's currently being worked on. Once you finish editing, don't forget to hit Save. It's also possible to tag people while chatting in this task's thread, keeping your channels and topics much more organized. Your task and its details can be seen like it is here, or, thanks to WorkStreams.ai, you can also see it on your task board. You can view the task board by hitting the WorkStreams.ai tab at the top of your screen. On the task board, use the task dropdown to upload files, archive tasks, and more. To give context to different tasks, add customizable labels. This becomes very helpful as your number of tasks continues to grow. Keep in mind, you can always change the status of a task on your task board simply by dragging it from column to column. And remember, this is also just one of your task boards. Every channel on a team with the WorkStreams.ai app will have its own unique task board where you can create and edit the tasks that fit to it best. Last of all, we want to invite you to give us your feedback. If you have something important to tell us, we'd love to hear from you. The more we know, the more we can improve. You can talk to us right on your task board simply by clicking the Feedback button. And that's it. Now you know how to get started with WorkStreams.ai on Microsoft Teams. To dive deeper into some of our other features, you'll find loads of helpful resources and fun GIFs on our support page. or. Feel free to check out more of our videos.